to be or not to be? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing end them. To die, to sleep no more, and by sleep to say we end the thousand heartaches and natural shocks that flesh is heir to. It is a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die, to sleep. To sleep, a chance to dream. Aye, there's the rub. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time, the oppressor's wrong, the proud man's consummately, the pangs of despised love, the insolence of office, the law's delay? A patient merit of the unworthy takes when he himself might as quiet as make with a bare bodkin. Who would fardels bear to grunt and sweat under weary life? But that the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country from whose born no traveller returns, puzzles the will, and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others that we know not of. Thus, conscience does make cowards of us all. And thus the native hue of resolution is sicklied over with the pale cast of thought and enterprises of great pith and moment with this regard. Their currents turn awry and lose the name of action. <laughs>